on video is a very good back here with another edition of what's on deck and some updates as well uh we're gonna talk about what is going on in the world of playing boards on kickstarter and elsewhere it's quite a bit to talk about but first well channel update i've added some new playlists recently mostly yesterday but a couple other recent ones i can get to it come on and it doesn't want to work <laughs> Why? There we go. Bear with me one second here. And I've had some playlists that are um, themed playlist, if you will, like a zombie and monster dex playlist. There's a mini dex playlist, a giant double sized dex playlist. There is a Steampunk Dex playlist, a Cthulhu Dex playlist, and a Mortals and Day of the Dead Dex playlist. And uh, also one somewhere on, there you go, Terror and Fortune Telling type decks. And there might be more in the future. Let me know if you have any suggestions. So let's move on to Kickstarter. First of all, there's a new deck from Elite Playing Cards, which I mentioned a couple of weeks ago was coming soon it's funded it's the bicycle codex deck it is funded well funded 10 days to go and it's pretty nice it's a nice tuck case don't be deceived it's not going to look that good it's not going to look that shiny when you get it that's just a stupid computerized picture it's not going to look like that it's going to be it's going to be nice it's going to be gold foil it's going to be shiny but not that shiny or sparkly the court cards Faces are somewhat similar to the last deck, which is fine. I did like them. They are a bit different though. And overall, it's a very nice deck. And I recommend checking it out. As you can see. Apparently, there's also a luxury edition. This comes in a wood box. 24 karat gold plated coins slash medallion. Aha. Sounds expensive. Okay, moving on. We got a new deck from Cosmobile Point Guard. This is the Bicycle Starlight Solar. It is 74% funded, 27 days to go. Just a matter of time. And I essentially predicted slash um, came up with this idea. <laughs> yeah, pretty much you know, predicted or suggested this idea. It's basically the same or similar, I should say, to the solar. Uh, so I am a bit out of it. I've been taking pain medication and, and uh, muscle relaxer, so I'm a little bit zonked out. <laughs> uh, it's very similar to the Lunar, so Starlight Lunar deck, except that it's the sun. Like I said, I sort of made the suggestion when the Lunar deck came out, when I reviewed it. And there it is. It's pretty nice. I like it. I'll get it eventually. I will review it. Speaking of collectible point cards, the Bicycle Four Seasons decks are also on there. They're 56% funded, 13 days to go. A little bit surprised it hasn't funded yet, but hopefully it makes it there. Let's get it there. It's a nice set of decks. Then there's the Diamond Point Cards. Why Diamond Point Cards? It is funded, 15 days to go. Not a huge fan. Then there's the Green Stamps Point Cards from Wilbur Wonder, which is a futurist company. It is 87% funded, 10 days to go. It should make it. I do recommend checking it out. And then there's a new one, the Neo Point Cards, which is from Montenji Design. Currently 59% funded, 20 days to go. Very nice looking deck. Very colorful. Tuck case and faces. Somewhat similar style of the faces, I think, to the previous decks. I didn't get the previous decks. This one I am pledging. However, because it is really nice. There's two decks that are available. A unlimited edition printed by the USB-C, well, unlimited, but it is limited, obviously. And a limited edition that will be 500 or 1,000 decks printed by WJ Printing. I suggest that if you're going to do 1,000 decks, just go with the USB-C. Um, there will be a premium crust B-stock, metallic inks, traditional cut, very close finish, cut is just style back, asymmetrical court guards, etc., uh, etc. Cetera, et cetera. Very nice, as you can see. A border, and then there is the limited edition, which is borderless, as you can see. 
much more limited. There will be four to six colors of foil on the top case, which might be the main reason for not doing the USB-C. A white diamond stock, which is a new stock by WJ Printing, a new improved coating, smooth linen finish. Wait a minute, that's contradictory. Either you can have smooth finish or a linen finish, not both, because a linen finish is an embossed finish, like an air cushion finish, and the smooth finish is smooth. That makes no sense. Smooth linen finish kind of contradicts itself. <laughs> um, also, inner printing in the top case and four jokers instead of two. Nice court cards. Um, pretty stylish looking. I like it. I do recommend checking it out. There's a number of cards. And they're almost funded, so definitely get it there. Actually, sorry, they're 59% funded, but they, they'll get there. They should get there. Then there's the Barata Terra point cards, sorry, Terra point cards, by Sinise Chaba. He has launched a second project now for the Terra deck. It is 46% funded, 10 days to go. Let's get that one there as well. It's a beautiful deck of cards. It is similar to the other Barata deck with some changes, some minor changes. For instance, he has included four tarot suits on there, pentacles, wands, uh, cups, and swords, along with the standard suits, and also a few tarot cards, like the Tower, the Lovers, the Fool, and Death. And then the rest of the cards are the standard faces, but as you can see, they have the traditional tarot suits in the opposite corners. And a beautiful artwork, and also it's a different color back design, which might also have some other slight differences I don't really recall. But it's a very nice deck. I do recommend checking it out. No jokers in this one, because they replaced the jokers with those four other cards. And over oh, that, they have a review of one of my previous decks. <laughs> Next up, we got Implicit Playing Cards by Nathan Dharma. It is funded 14 days to go. I like that one. Definitely worth checking out. Mantra Point Cards by Roman Cote is funded 86 minutes to go. If you haven't checked it out by the time this video is up, it's going to be too late. I apologize. But you should have checked it out because I mentioned it to you for weeks now. And then there's Legend Herald's Execution of Point Cards by John Daniel Taylor IV. I'm pretty sure he's already done this one before, and now he's doing it again. It's 93% funded, 12 days to go. And in my opinion, it's basically crap. I wouldn't suggest checking it out. Um, it's just slutty, as you can see, trashy. As I mentioned before, if you have to resort to this type of artwork to sell playing cards and or comic books, you're probably not very good <laughs> at your comic book stuff. And also, a goal is $600, and he hasn't even funded that yet. That is horrible, horrible, horrible. If you have a goal of $600, it's either fund immediately, or it's pretty bad if it doesn't. Um, so here we go. He's already had Legends Hell's Executioner number two. He's already done Hell's Executioner a couple of times then, obviously. And this one, as you can see, there it is. It's basically the same thing that he's done before. <laughs> I'm not a fan of that either. Uh, there's a new one from Emmanuel Valtier, Ice and Fire Point Cards, inspired by the Middle Ages stories. It is 18% funded, 28 days to go, it's not doing as good as I thought it would, but $14,000 goal is not looking too achievable at this rate. Very nice deck star, you can see a Fire one, an Ice one, one has black faces. Uh, it's a nice back design, I like that. Uh, nice court cards, nice aces. The artwork is very nicely done. There's a blue back. Pretty interesting. And also you can add on some of the previous decks. And dice. Um, I, I like it. I, the price is good. The decks are pretty cool. But I do think the goal is quite a bit higher than what he's done in previous projects. If I recall correctly. What was the hmm. I 
goal. Well, he did get ten thousand dollars in that one, but he only had a six thousand dollar goal. So I don't know. It's gonna be. It looks like it's gonna be difficult to meet this goal, but I do recommend checking it out. Um, then there's a the 3D point guards dinosaurs edition by the art game, 45% funded 70 days ago. It's worth checking out, it's interesting. And there's a new one from Natalia Silva, Muetos Point Guards. It is funded six days ago, very short campaign, a week long. So make sure you get to it before it's over. Two decks, a purple one and a red one, being printed by the USBC. A thousand decks each, I believe. And, I mean, it's different than the previous ones he did, uh, where the Calaveras de Zucker, but similar. Uh, I like it. And the other one, actually, limited edition is only 110 decks, and that's been put there by MPC. A little bit pricier, but not too bad, considering she's done some before that were a lot more pricier than that. So, I'm glad to see that she's being a little bit more reasonable in the pricing of the decks. Um... Yeah, so yeah, thirty-nine dollars is what I price for two decks, so that's a pretty good price, I think. Um, so definitely worth checking out. Then there's the Corvid Romantic by Megan Weber, sixty-six percent funded, seven days to go, and may or may not make it at this rate. Um, I mentioned that one before. And there's Go Cards Exercise Point Cards by Colton Schock. Schock, how do you pronounce that? <laughs> it is funded, fifty-six days to go. I had a pretty low goal, thousand dollars Canadian. That's about $800 American or less. Um, I did suggest that he added some more pictures, especially the back design. He's, it's all about exercise. It's like, pick a card. Decent jumping jacks. <laughs> uh, all the spades represent leg exercise, the diamonds core exercise, the hearts push-ups, uh, push and pull exercise, and the clubs agility exercise. What the hell is a burpee? <laughs> uh, I never heard of a burpee or a plank up for that matter. Uh, but okay, you know, it's an interesting concept. I like the colors they use for the suits, and they've incorporated the pips into the image. The back design, however, is horrible. <laughs> it's a one way back design. Um, not excited at all. But I, it's fine considering the faces are also one way. And they've also included how to use card. So why not? It's an interesting idea. I uh, don't know who's producing it, unfortunately. But it is what it is. And then there is the Zago Point Guards by Abelina Arts, 66% funded. 11 days to go again. Definitely recommend checking it out. Let's get this one funded. And there's the Hand Shields Point Guards by Anthony Chanut, 42% funded. 21 days to go. I'm pretty sad that's on last week. Slowly getting there. May or may not make it. Enliven Point Guards by Brian Narata. Narata Sai is 48% funded, 21 days to go. Quite frankly, as far as I'm concerned, there's many other decks on Kickstarter that I'd rather see fund than this, which is just a logo on the backs and on the Ace of Spades and the Jokers. Not a lot of effort, not a lot of creativity, and I think that creativity and effort is what should be rewarded, not five minutes on a computer <laughs> with Photoshop and whether or not it makes it I don't know not looking too good the five color combo point guards that's right Ellingsen is 29% funded 70 hours to go not going to make it at this rate buying some kind of miracle pride point guards by Andrew, Andrew Wagented is 8% funded 12 days to go not looking good at this rate Wild West point guards by Justin Troy is 44% funded 26 hours to go it's not looking good either. He's uh, already knows it's he's pretty confident it's not going to make it. He's scheduling a relaunch, so hopefully it'll make it that time. I do recommend checking it out though. Number symbol point in Oracle cards by Kenneth P. Langer is seven percent funded twelve days ago. Not going to happen. Fed and New Z point cards by my Greek Dumb. This is a relaunch. Seven percent funded twenty nine days ago. I don't see it happening. Celine point cards by Dylan. Mastronomical, I think I mentioned this one last week, it's 60% funded, 18 days to go. 
Pacino and Spy, except it looks nothing like Pacino back. Um, and again, I think it, it took like a year and a half to come up with moons on the back design. I mean, really? But again, it's another one that I really could care less if it funds or not, and it's currently not looking good. Stripey Deck by Baptiste Blom is funded 18 days to go. I like it. I recommend checking it out. Intaglio Point Guards by Jackson Robinson is funded 12 days to go. It's gotten a bit more funding. But it's not going to get too much more this way, I don't think. But that's a lot of money. And I don't know how people can continue to give him so much money considering all the issues he had with the legal tender playing cards and with pretty much every project he's had. Always issues, errors, delays, and yet people are still throwing money at him. Ah, guilty. <laughs> I, I, I did pledge for this one as well, but I'm a little bit... I don't know if I'm going to... Continue with it. We'll see. Tropical Sunrise Point Guards by Luis Placentia. 7% funded, 13 days to go. The faces are completely standard. He apparently did customize the Aces page and the Jokus, but apparently they're so important that he hasn't bothered to solo them. Last I checked anyways, and it's not going to happen. Zeus Point Guards by GPT. 28% funded, 22 days to go. Again, not looking too good. I, it's pretty bad when you got a Cardistry deck on Kickstarter and it's not funded because usually the cardists are all over cardistry decks, they stick together and seeing as how a lot of these projects aren't funding, it seems like they have a pretty small following as cardists. Jenny Point Guards by Zach Mirza is 75% funded, 12 days to go. Let's get this one funded, it's so close. Very nice looking decks, I do recommend checking it out. Hope it doesn't bite me in the ass afterwards. <laughs> I, I don't think it will. Uh, Foliage Playing Cards by Ace of Clubs Magic and Cards is 22% funded, 23 hours. 23 hours to go, not looking to go at this rate. Glorious Keyholes Playing Cards by Mark Alender is 3% funded, 11 days to go. Doing about as good as I expected considering how it did last time, unfortunately. I mean, it's an interesting idea, it's just people aren't interested in it. Then there's Riders of the Apocalypse Point Guards by Ace Collectible Cards, funded, 22 days to go, do recommend checking it out. Um, I'm not sure if there's a back design yet. Just bear with me a second, I'm not seeing... You know, it's not bad looking. The art is pretty good. I just don't see an image of the back design as of yet. Or back designs. Um, but it is what it is. Zombie Point Cards by Uyo S. Beck is 9% funded. 13 days to go. Not looking good at this rate. And then there's Strigger Forms. Deck of Owls by Rene Lecompte. 31% funded. 24 days to go. This one could kind of go either way at this rate. Um, it's an owl deck. She's, this creator has previously done a parrot deck, which I mentioned some time ago, a year or two ago when it was on Kickstarter. $10,000 goal, that's a pretty big goal, especially considering it's NPC printed. you think it'd be a lot smaller. Um, the faces are, you know, they're pretty nice. He's putting a good amount of effort designing the artwork. And there's the jokers, it's all owls all the time. <laughs> it's the owl playing cards. And the back design, however, I'm not seeing. Maybe we'll get it here, I'm not sure, we'll see. No, I'm just seeing the quote cards. Um, not 100% sure what the back design looks like, because we're not seeing it, but it might be in the video, I don't know. But it looks pretty cool. Then there's this marijuana trading cards thing that I mentioned last week, by Buddha. 0% funded, 18 days to go, it's not going to fund. Um, and what's this? It is funded, whatever the hell it is. I 
I just see a bunch of artwork, a bunch of cards. I'm not seeing. These are not actual playing cards, from what I can tell. So, moving on. <laughs> um. The safe stack by Asus is 1% funded 10 days to go. Not going to happen. Not at this rate. And the Trick or Treat Oracle, Halloween Oracle Tarot deck. Trick or Tarot, I should say, not Trick or Treat. By Doug Fornsdo is 84% funded 13 days to go. Looks like it will make it. Desert, Desert Dragons and other sweet creatures by Jessica Feinberg, well funded 4 days to go. I'll uh, point this one out very quickly. There is a Dia de los Muertos coloring book by the Edzy Brothers. It is funded 25 days ago. You can also pick up one of the decks if you missed out. Or maybe all of them. That is it for Kickstarter. There's nothing to report on Indiegogo that I know of. And I hate checking Indiegogo for playing cards because you search playing cards. And not only do you get playing cards, you get games, you get actual plays and other stuff. It's just it's all over the place. Um, this is one to mention, this is one to mention. Uh, Fontaine Carrots, apparently coming out this week. I don't remember the exact day or time at the moment. Um, actually it should be here, if I look at that. Check that out. Then there's these new decks from Mechanic Industries. This is their third or fourth deck. It's their fifth anniversary set you can get with uh, nice metallic inks all over the place. I'm not sure if there's actual foil on the top case. It's available for pre order. It comes out July 24th. There is the Signer deck and the uh, Glimmer deck. One is silver, one is gold. Get that from your favorite playing card shops right now. There's again the flip book. There's once again the flip book animation. There's also a marking system, metallic inks on the faces and the backs, Joker gaff cards, which are compatible with, with their coins, embossed tuckets with silver foil on the inside and out. On the silver, that's probably gold foil on the other one. And Bicycle Stock Whip, Air Cushion Finish by USB-C. You can actually use the animations, I believe, to read the suit and value are. So it's pretty cool. Um, anyways, I like it. Also, a new Knights deck from Illusionist in red. Designed by Oban Jones. That's available right now on the Illusionist website. Also, a couple of new decks from other place slash Dan or Dave. I'll just check them out on the website. One of them is this one, the Drifters Point Cards, which is really nice and it's actually by Chris Ramsey. He's actually got a bit of a look on his channel on that deck if you want to check it out. Uh, Fontaine Carrots are coming. <laughs> um, doesn't say, but they are coming this week to Fontaine's playing site, uh, playing card site, FontaineCards.com. Um, I want to say it's Tuesday, I think. At 5 or 6 p.m. 
specific time, but check out his Instagram, Haunting Cards, and you can get the information. The other new one that's available at Art of Play is the Camp Cards Ranger Edition. So they finally came out with this Camp Cards in a green back. It's about damn time. This should have been what the deck looked like from the beginning. I mean, it's a camping themed deck. Why would it not be in green? Instead, they made it in white and in black. And they finally made it in green. Um, that's what you get for the... The only difference is the back design is a different color. It's the third one, obviously. Everything else for the faces is basically the same. From what I can tell. Except maybe they made the red suits actually red this time. I don't remember. The other two versions are sold out on Art of Play, but you can probably find them elsewhere if you missed out. Um, let's see if there's anything else. Probably mentioned the hype deck last week. There's also one coming soon from Joker and the Thief, which I might have mentioned already. No idea what it's called yet that I know of. Um, I think that's it for this week for playing cards. I think I mentioned everything. So that's that. Um, check out my new playlist. Comment or subscribe. I'll see you next time with more. Thanks for watching. This can actually work for a change.